What's up, everybody? Frank Slauson here for another uh, great Frank Slauson show video. And uh, this video is going to be a, a two-parter, but no, not two parts. I can I'm not say that we're going to do, do like how we used to do and, and split everything up in many different parts. No, no, no. Because of the fact that I can do longer videos and everything, uh, this first part that you're going to see is pretty much going to be of the of uh, us, uh, or well, another episode of the Tuesday Night Experiment being recorded. And uh, as I'm recording the stream and all that stuff, but we're going to take you kind of, kind of give you kind of an insider's look, kind of behind the scenes almost of uh, how everything kind of goes here at the studio. As I'm just, I just got off of work and, and I'm just going to just head over to the studio right now, as you can see. Well, you can't really see, but you can see a little bit. And uh, yeah, it should be a fun episode. This is our last episode until our Christmas, until Christmas break is done. And uh, yeah, it should be good. The second part that you're going to see a little bit later here in this video is going to be, uh, well, it's Christmas time. And my family, you know, always kind of goes big around the holidays and we're going to do something special for, for Christmas and all this stuff. So, oh, and it's lost and family Christmas. <laughs> but I'm here at the studio right now, getting all ready and stuff. And, uh, yeah. So we're going to do it right now. We're just going to keep this camera rolling and uh, get to the studio. Get everything going as best as we know how. Alright. <laughs> Cause you just never know what to expect when people go live. That's for sure. See, I'm gonna make sure the camera's good. Lighting's good, everything's good. Yeah. I was surprised to show those guys when I get to the studio here. Well, not right away, but exactly right away but as soon as I get to my segment later, a little later on bought a copy of that movie Inception that I'm going to be reviewing here a little bit later on tonight in the show so yeah this is kind of the kind of walk into the studio because it's a, it's a college here so you're all waiting I told him I was going to be a little late because I had to work till 7 because it would be busy and be a Christmas week and everything. And so, yeah, you're in, you're in for the ride. She ended up marrying Scott Weiland, and well, she, figures hot model hooks up with a rock star. Yeah, that guy. never happens uh, ever in the world, does it? Yeah. But she, uh, he's, she's definitely lived uh, both some good times and some bad times, and she's uh, she's lived to tell about it. And she'll be uh, visiting Scott us. Weiland gets all the chicks. She'll be visiting us tonight here uh, at the bottom of the hour. And looky, look who uh, <laughs> makes his way into uh, into the studios here at the broadcast center at uh, Pioneer ninety point one FM. The one. And only Sugar Sean Slauson. Did you guys miss me at all? I mean, I was yeah, trying to make a big entrance here with my camera. Let's get ready to call campus security. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, I know it's finals week. But oh, okay. They're still on patrol. I saw I saw them last night when I came in to come do some workout for the station. So beware. Hey, it's all good. Today's a good episode. It's a positive atmosphere. And I think... Uh, Good things are going to happen. Uh -huh. Now, you come in here, just a ray of sunshine. Is this just, it's kind of like a distraction, so we don't, we're don't. we going to forget that you were late. Oh, okay. Well, you know, that's why I say it's a positive episode. Yeah. You must look like you just came in from... Uh, <laughs> your, your, uh, no, I'm just trying to deflect here. Can't be tardy for the party. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'll let you're two minutes late. Uh, <laughs> no. Now, you look like you just came in from a, another day of uh, earning that pay, some dollar-dollar <laughs> bills going around there. Yeah, right? I'm wearing my uh, Hugo's uniform today, because I 
just got done work with work not too long ago, so I just came here and I was going to change and look all nice and cute for everybody, but you know. Why do that? It's radio. Yeah, okay. well, we don't have a webcam. Yeah, that's, that's right. Well, well the only know. camera we have is yours, Scorsese. <laughs> <laughs> that's about it, yeah. So what's new in the land of Sugar Sean Slauson? Well, not much. Uh, went, to, went to Grand Forks here on Friday and had a great day. Oh, you had a great day. Did you go uh, fly solo, or did you take a nice lady with you? Well, I had, I, had, I had a friend with, you know, not a female friend, but, a, you know, a guy friend that I've been friends well, with for can, a while. Well, uh, you could have dressed him up. Yeah, put him on or just give him a pink cardigan to wear or something. Yeah. Pre pretend road trip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So what, what did you do down in uh, the big old town of Grand well, Forks? Well, we did, did, uh, some, uh, did some Christmas shopping. Some Christmas shopping. And went and saw the Chronicles of Narnia movie. Oh, wow. Were you having trouble sleeping? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it, it, it was good. It, you know, I, I have not seen the first two, but my friend Johnny said... You haven't seen the first two? Why do you go no, up there like that? <laughs> He he can my friend John convinced me that you gotta see this one because I want to see Unstoppable because it was playing over there. But he said you well, gotta you can see. just go to town and see that this week. I here. know, but you know he convinced me to say, "Oh, you gotta go see Chronicles of Narnia." Did he, so. he kind of want? He was angling with you there, buddy. Well, he <laughs> didn't. He didn't want to go by himself, you know. And I was just like, "Well, okay, well, I'll go with you." Did then. you guys hold hands too in the theater? Well, we share shut, popcorn. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. We, <laughs> <laughs> Did they I don't check get your ID? Too. Well, we got to see it in 3D, you know, oh, but that's not I, ID. Does that actually work? Yeah, I, you actually be amazed. It's not the original red, blue, Slap you know, the, back of the, head, we'll you the, know, the old 50s, <laughs> 60s uh, 3D. This is like the new technology of 3D. This is pretty, pretty damn good. In the post-Avatar age here, everything uh, has come up 3D. <laughs> You know, maybe our show will be in 3D. I don't I'm, know. That's I'm, good. Not really, I'm not really into that whole <laughs> I'm, 3D I'm, thing. I'm happy in the 2D right now. Yeah. Oh, the yeah. left and right. Yeah, left and right works for us. I don't think we're going to work on 3D. That just shows way too many of our already obvious flaws. I and if you even hook it up to a 5.1 digital surround sound, yeah. uh, we'll still sound hip. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. So you went to that movie. See, I went to, I went to Grand Forks uh, Friday night, and uh, well, me and the me and the lady went out. You know, did a little did a little shopping thing, did a little dinner thing. Sure. And we caught the uh, the fighter uh, with Mark Wahlberg mm -hmm. and Christian Bale, a movie that's been garnering a lot of uh, critical attention and raves here in the last month, month and a half. And I have to say, I actually agree with critics on this. It was a really good movie, a real gritty movie. I think Christian Bale. When it comes time to hand out the awards here at the end of the year and into 2011, has definitely got a legitimate shot at uh, winning a whole bunch of them. He he goes above and beyond. He he is definitely uh, keeping the spirit of the method actor alive. Uh, he lost a bunch of weight for it to play the role of Mark Wahlberg's uh, brother, who was the former boxer who fell on it, down on his luck, and he he was really Mark really good. Wahlberg, yeah, that's. Uh... Yeah, that, that's the... Oh, you movie. remember The Rocker? <laughs> no, how, how could you call Marky Mark in a funky The rock star? Rock, rock, even in the same paragraph. I think he was going for that movie that, uh, you know, that was the ripoff of the Judas Priest thing, you know, where the, the guy, the fan, replaced Rob Halford. Oh, they okay. Kind of, they kind of turned that into a movie here yeah. like, about seven, eight years ago with Jennifer Aniston. Yeah, <laughs> yeah she's got eating issues. Uh, a lot of them do. Uh, did you, get, uh, you have a chance to check out the uh, the big Vikings game then uh, last night, uh, the outdoor experiment over at uh, it, ACF Field. There was a couple of plays that looked like they were doing the slip and slide type thing, you know, right on the field, man. That guy was just like, ooh, it, it got sad. pretty. It got pretty white at the end, that's for sure. Well, yeah, the running game, yeah, definitely. You watch these guys, they definitely got some extra yards. <laughs> <laughs> you, you watch them slip around, I mean, it definitely the field helped. Some stats, but it seemed like uh, you know the the fans were really optimistic going out the shoot. They had Grandpa Favre out there taking snaps. <laughs> he moved the ball up, up the field. All people were saying, "Well, here we go, here we go." He, he got, suffered a concussion too, yeah, right? He got smoked right in the noggin. <laughs> I mean, he was barely even ready from uh, you know a couple weeks ago where he uh, suffered the, the banged up shoulder against Buffalo, and and then they give it to Joe Webb. Uh, well, he is in essence our young third string quarterback so you really can't expect too much out of him the guy can run well yeah that's the one thing he had a fan, yeah. he busted off a fantastic run but i think he's just not ready to to compete in the level here uh, not ready uh, for prime NFL, time yet no of an nfl starting quarterback right now but that doesn't mean he, he doesn't show any promise but the thing was he was drafted as wide receiver yeah yeah you know there's a lot of them out there pittsburgh has a bunch of uh, wide receivers that could be quarterback but now we have a quarterback that could be a wide receiver in Minnesota. So Leslie Frazier, he's digging at the bottom of the barrel? 
Well, I think uh, that's where he, he found uh, their backup quarterback, uh, Patrick Ramsey, here uh, last week just to fill a roster spot. That guy yep. hadn't taken a snap in, what, almost two years? Yeah. It, it's, 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 it's just a sad year for the Vikings. Uh, you know, it, the, 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 they got the opposite end of the karma stick. Yeah. <laughs> they, had, they, had, they had things way too easy, and then last, last year it started to kind of show up uh, in the NFC Championship game, you know, where it all kind of went south on them. Yeah, a play away from the Super Bowl. <laughs> yeah, but now, now it's uh, you know, it, it, the clock struck twelve. Well, you got to realize we uh, whooped a bunch of ass last year in the season, so NFL for sure is going to give the Vikings a tougher schedule this year. Well, yeah, that's kind of just the natural progression yeah. of things in the league too. So, yeah, Vikings. Uh, Frazier, he'll be coming back next year. And I, I think so. Give him uh, the proper tools. Get all these guys healthy again. There might be something here with him, and I think he's most deservedly earned his spot uh, to be a head coach in the NFL. He's come a long way since that Super Bowl shuffle. Yeah, I think didn't he get hurt in his career? Ended in that Super Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about a bad deal. At least you got the ring, but I mean, unfortunate. He kind of looks like Beetlejuice from the Howard Stern show. Yeah. That, that, <laughs> <laughs> I have to agree with you on that. I, 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 I just you're a nice guy. This now, I was like, you know, <laughs> what does that Leslie Frazier look like? Oh yeah, Beetlejuice as bad as can. <laughs> <laughs> we got some news here to talk about. Those my partners in crime, my deuce, my aces. Uh, we're talking Blind Dog, baby. How you yo doing, yo, Blind Dog is like he was. Just still, I had to snap him out of it. He was. I, I never again. I had never seen you so into an interview. I. He, I don't know, man. Maybe I know that chick. <laughs> oh, that's scary. Mary Forsberg Weiland, uh, <laughs> our guest. Uh, very cool. I, I definitely uh, recommend buying that book. A sugar shots lost in a man who uh, saw a book once. Yeah, I, I, I did see a book. I read a book. And I don't remember the book. Yeah. <laughs> the Charlotte's Web? Yeah. Is it the Time Life series? Actually, the, <laughs> one of the books that I, I remember that I did read at one time was the Home Alone movie book. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> man. Just so I can get a Culkin reference in there. <laughs> I love it. I love yeah, it. If Jackson were alive, he'd just call him up. <laughs> Say, what's up, buddy? How yeah. that Macaulay? What's up, Sugar <laughs> Shallon? I love this. <laughs> now, we talked about Scott Weiland, or his, we talked with his ex-wife. We got some news about his former group, Velvet Revolver. Oh, they disbanded? No, no. I'll tell you a little bit about this. I, I'm glad that you asked me that great question. Your skills at segueing are wonderful. <laughs> I have, you, have you done this before? I, uh, yeah. Uh, once or twice. I yeah. talk every now and then. I'm a talker. <laughs> <laughs> ever since Scott Weiland left Velvet Revolver, fans have been wondering whether the supergroup would ever find a new singer and release new music. Drummer Matt Sorum tells ABC News Radio that the process of finding a new frontman is underway even now. Well, hasn't it been going on for since Scott left the group? Well, they must have just took a break. We had a, we had a coffee break and then we forgot about it. <laughs> solo well. Stuff all over the place. I don't know why they put the screen on my mic. They just want to mess with you, pal. How about we get to our favorite segment of the show, the one we waited last for this week. Uh-huh. We're talking about Shippy Sean Slauson's DVD report. And as we were listening to last week's program, I may have been a bit harsh on the boy because he forgot to do one thing that I asked him to do, which was watch the movie Inception. He broke my heart. You broke my heart, I'm Shippy so Sean. sorry. Like many girls that you've broken hearts. Yeah, you many. The program. list is so long. You know? now, now, first of all, before we get in, did you watch it? Yes, I did. Did you want? Okay, that's good. Now let's get into this DVD review. We need to get some music. We, we, I gotta produce something, man. This is this is <laughs> yeah. Dry. I thought I have some wacky wacky tunes or something, you know. Wacky wacky tunes. Yeah, like the theme of the Animaniacs or something. I don't know. Animaniacs. What a, anything would be fine. <laughs> oh hey, is that for the YouTube audience? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is me flipping you off. <laughs> <laughs> Are you saying you didn't like? Is that the- censored? No, you can actually you can say what you want. You well, don't want to do it because we're on the air there. Yeah, 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 you, yeah. You don't want to swear or nothing, but you know. All right, it's time now for Sugar Sean's <laughs> DVD review. Well, yes, I I actually I actually did see the uh, movie. I actually watched it on Saturday. Ooh. Yeah, there you go. I can actually hear myself now. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, no problem, bro. Uh, yes, I saw it on Saturday afternoon. I cooked myself up a little pizza and whatnot, and uh, 
chilled for a couple hours. Do you need and, to hear uh, the backstory on well, that? Well, yeah, hey, it's, on. it's been two weeks of waiting, so you got to hear I the backstory. I smoked a cigar. It yeah, was I smoked some grass or whatever. No, I'm just saying. Uh, you don't want to be dead. No, 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 yeah, no, yeah, no, no, no grass, that, no grass. No. I mowed some grass. All the neighborhood kids will be knocking at your door. <laughs> Anyway, so I watched it on Saturday, and uh, actually, you know, I was going to, you know, remember I was telling you yesterday when I was chatting with you on the line about yeah, a big surprise or whatever? Yeah, the big surprise. Well, I didn't see a box here. I didn't see any. I don't see a girl coming out of no, the yeah, I didn't see no. any of this. <laughs> well, the biggest surprise that I can say is not only did I actually go and see oh, it. Oh, get out of here. I actually went and bought a copy. Get out of here. Yeah. Look at yeah. that. Touch it. Yeah, you want to feel it? Yeah, what? <laughs> what? He's okay, feeling the no. case there, ladies and gentlemen. This is on Blu-ray. Blu-ray, yeah, Blu-ray DVD. Too. It's actually a Blu-ray DVD uh, combo pack, so you can actually watch it on DVD or Blu-ray or digital copy if you have. Sugar Sean, you, know. you got some game, brother. <laughs> wow. Well, I I figure you know you guys. Thirty bucks. No, actually it was uh twenty. It was on sale. Well, why twenty bucks that came with. Why full price because you're the man. Well, see. Yeah. The, the thing. Pimp. The thing the about it. has got to know that you got bling bling. Yeah. The well, you know, you know, now I'm broke because of the bling bling. But anyway. <laughs> right, so let's get into this. What do you think of the movie? Well, I actually, I actually really, really enjoyed it, and I did have to pay attention to every little detail did because. You fall asleep during it? No, actually, you know, it, it started out pretty intense right away. So I want to read out my entire what I wrote because I, I got some good words about it. You know, I want to make it sound really good. You know, my review. So here we go. This movie almost felt like it was the Matrix meets the new Batman films, and the reason why is because of the thinking that you have to do. There are some scenes in this film that trip, that pretty much tripped me out, uh -huh. like like the scene where the train comes crashing through the traffic. Oh, and that insane, eh? No, oh, that was very insane. I wasn't expecting that. That's just uh, it just happened, you know. Or when the rookie dreamer girl, as I call her, turns the town into almost like a box, or upside down more or less, and that was pretty trippy. I thought. Mm -hmm. The music also was like a Batman type feel, and I always say well, that because Nolan of Christopher Nolan. Nolan yeah. Yes. Because he, he directed it, so, you know, uh, let's see, where are we? Um, it was almost like a Batman-like feel. Mm -hmm. So, all in all, I give this film four out of five stars. Well, only only because of how confusing the film was and how you really had to pay attention to detail. Yeah, have you watched Memento yet? I, I actually seen that a long time ago. I, yeah, it, I mean, it's been a while, but did it... Did it make you want to kind of want to revisit that just because of the way Nolan tells his stories? Well, and well complex, Memento, that was just like, you know, it started, the ending was the beginning, and the beginning was the ending, or whatever, or something like that, or, you know, it was confusing. It was, you know... Well, you, you allowed yourself to go along for the ride. That's the best part. That's like the most rewarding I thing. can see why you want me to watch a movie like this because it, it actually, you know, it made me think of Memento a little bit because of how confusing and how, but it wasn't, I mean, as confusing as it may have been, there was a lot of good parts too, a lot of good uh, acting between the characters and, mm -hmm. and then the scene at the very end. Well, I don't want to give too much away, oh, but no, there's no, no, no. You have spoiler, spoiler alert. Yeah, like, la like, ah! like, like, like last week. Remember last week's spoiler? Yeah, anyway. Yeah, you gave away Mr. Mom or uh, whatever. Uh, yeah, grown ups, I think it was. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, you know, Scotty here was kind of pissed, but anyway. Well, yeah, you just ruined his whole night. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, no, I <laughs> gotta go home and watch Fox News, and it wasn't the same. Uh, yeah, that Kip Hines and his big weather show just didn't yeah. have the same oomph, you know what I mean? <laughs> but, but the, uh, the Blu-ray, you know, itself has has a lot of good features on it. It actually comes in two. Well, I know why you bought this, man. It's PG-13, so I know you don't want to be watching R-rated movies. Well, I have a Blu-ray collection of my... I do have a Blu-ray player, so I kind of... So, he has uh, it in a room with beads in it. He opens up the drawer, there's beads in it. That's a special collection. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, it, all in all, it was a very good film, and, uh, you know, it's definitely worth uh, adding to your collection. I mean, I didn't think at first, you know, when I bought it, I didn't think I was going to like it at first. I thought, okay, this could be, you know, maybe it's just going to be something I just really hated. But, you know, if you follow the Batman films that Christopher Nolan made... There's a few characters, there's real people that actually are in this film that were in some of the Batman, the, ah, the two Batman you lost films. lost me about five minutes ago. Oh, well. Uh, you know what? This now, kid, you actually had me there. But now, Blind Dog, you got a question. Now, I don't know if it's just because I think laser discs are still cool. <laughs> but what's this whole digital copy mumbo jumbo? About? That's, uh, if you, well, if you open it inside or whatever the case. There's a, a code in there that they give people that buy the Blu-ray or DVD. 
So you can make your own copy of this? Well, what it is own? is, like, if you have, like, an MP3, or not MP3 player, but, like, an iPod, or even on your computer, you could, like, it's almost like add it, burn a copy of it on your computer digitally, you know. Then you can oh. watch it at your at your house, you know, as many times as you want. That was the future. But there, there's this thing for people who aren't used to digital copy. They give you an expiration date on how long you can, uh, you know, keep till you... Keep that digital copy. Well, no, no, no. Once you keep the... disintegrate? No, the, the copy <laughs> itself... It self-destruct? The copy itself lasts forever, but if you don't use it in a matter of certain... You know, certain it. If you don't use it, you know, or, you know, add it okay. to your computer or whatever, yeah, then it expires. The code's a little good, but... Uh, it kind of reminds you, use it or lose it. When I was kinda. working at Corporate Radio Land over at Cheap Channel, uh, yeah. that's, uh, that's the way it was with my vacation pay. <laughs> use it or lose it, man. Well, I mean, that's just the thing. They give you a code, and then you have so much time to... But they give you you at least a good five or six months. So you got until May something, Yeah. So you got some time. Got to pull the trigger on that. But all all in all, I mean, I'm sure they got a soundtrack out for it, too, and all that. this will be on Hulu in no time. Uh, I give it a little while. <laughs> I give it a little while because it's still fairly new, and I don't think uh, Hulu. There's your blue disc. They'll probably have like a Blu-ray preview or something. See, this kid, he he, he brought proof. He, he not only told us that he watched it, he made a good description of the movie. And it it must the, be a good movie if you and, go and, out and, and buy it. And for those uh, watching the YouTube stream here, you see the uh, nice cover, how it has to give a 3D image, kind of. The, for those the listening on radio. Yeah, yeah, that's it right. Sucks. So, <laughs> but there, but you see, that there's a reason why, and and I'm, I know how you Love hate, you, I know how you hate <laughs> sentimental crap, but but I'm gonna be a little sentimental right now because there's a reason why I did buy it, not just to see it, but there's I figured. There's a tissue, you jack wagon. <laughs> It, it just it, it just all goes since this is our last show for the year. It all goes kind of what we were talking about way a long time ago on the music jury. Uh, what how was that show? It sounds like some flyby operation yeah. with a but bunch of jokers. It, it just was what jabronis. It just was with me, you know, and you, you know, you and I. We've had our we've had our we've had a good history. We've had our bad history, but you know, yeah, all built. in all, I'm uh, appreciative of the fact that you invite me to your show. You know, I know it's not just your show; it's our show, but you know. The fact that you thought about oh, me and, come you know. On, sappy Susan. <laughs> I want to get up and dance with you right now. Well, it, you yeah, know, geez. that's... And Should I want to... just turn the lights down low in here or what, man? <laughs> Make some candles. <laughs> Jeez, get some candles crazy. going. So, you know, it, <laughs> it's all about... Really walking by. What the world's going on Long there? story People short... And goes, Tim Gibson? Long story <laughs> short or short story long, it's uh, just all about that respect factor. And that's uh, oh, yeah. why I... Did what I did, dude. So. I totally appreciate that. I so think there that's, you go. That's a pretty stand-up move. Uh, uh, you know, and I'm getting sappy too. It's not kissing any but it's just showing <laughs> respect. You know, that's that's what I think. <laughs> okay, well, let's get up and dance. <laughs> 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 I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong, but oh well. I've been wrong before, but. Oh, I'm just waiting for the Prozac to kick <laughs> in, buddy. <laughs> oh yeah, just because you need more pills, don't you? There. The blind dog. Yeah. Right? I don't even know where I found this song. <laughs> <laughs> it magically showed up. Uh, we actually also, I think you were going to let me do like a top pick or Christmas brother. or whatever. Do it, do it. Santa Claus, okay. right? Yeah, Santa Claus. That'd be number one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's going to be in the theater here in town. Yep. Santa Claus? Yeah. We're putting it on. Oh, yeah, yeah. G&G production. I want to go and see that new Fockers movie. Uh, oh, yeah. Nah. Double the, Dose the, of Fockers. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I kind of like De Niro. I think that guy's badass. Well, yeah. You know? They've done a pretty good thing that, with that uh, franchise. That so. Ben Stiller, I don't know. That guy's really still out on that, huh? <laughs> I, that jury's still he out. He has a Double there. Dose of Fockers. I like his there. dad, though. <laughs> his dad's pretty funny. I did like the fact he directed The Cable Guy. I, I don't know. There's a soft spot in my heart for that yeah. movie. Yeah, a lot of people still don't know that, you know, which is kind of sad. You figure people would know that by now. Cliff Slauson over here, yeah. he knows Jeez. about that. Heck, I knew that Trivia the day media. I got, before I even got the DVD back Dance, a long time ago. Man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, buddy, let's get back into your uh, DVD review. So because of the fact that I did the Inception review and whatnot, it was very successful, we were going to do yeah, you kick butt on that, bud. Sugar Sean's top six. Favorite Christmas films. My top six, Sugar Sean. I thought it was Sassy Pants. There, 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 there's, there's a lot more. Seven. There's a lot more, <laughs> but you know, if, if I said every Christmas film that I liked, we'd be here till like midnight. So you know, there's a lot. Uh, but I picked six just to keep it on the Is down. Is that one Rolfie one on there? Actually, no. No, oh, come on. It's a good film, but it's not my Which favorite. Which number are we now? Number six. Well, six, well at number six. 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 <laughs> 
Oh, that's 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 nice. Number six, we're gonna say the Polar Express. How is that a Christmas movie? It's a Christmas movie. Have you ever seen was it? Was it released around Christmas? It kind of was around Thanksgiving. Oh, man, no. Yeah, Come on, know. now. Okay, all right. Number Polar. nine. <laughs> Actually, it's number, number five. There you go. Pay attention there, Blind Wait, Which number are we on? We're on number five here. Learn how to count. Top six, 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 Sugar Sean. How about holiday movies? Number five. Is I'll Be Home for Christmas. Who's in this one? Jonathan Taylor Thomas. Ah! <laughs> but it's a good film. It's a, it's a story. Find these guys straight out of acting school. Yeah, I think that Slauson still has his pictures of JTT from Sassy Magazine. Uh, it was a good film. I liked it. It, it okay. also featured a young Jessica Biel. Well, there you go. I liked the story. The acting was good. You know, about oh, him. Are you kidding me? Him on, killing me another that adventure one. home to uh, home for the holiday film. Oh, they never tried that one before. No, right? never. Which number are we at? Number. Number four. Well, we go from one home improvement reference to another. The Santa Claus. <laughs> um, <laughs> is that Tim Allen? Yeah, yeah, this is the original. I didn't care for part two or part three because part two and part three it were just, all going back to the first one. Pretty I think much that too. Tim Allen really needs to relapse and get back on the cocaine. Yeah, he just needs, <laughs> he just needs something. He doesn't even have a sitcom deal. Yeah, Mr. Home Improvement. He hey, I have all... How about improve your acting skills, I have all Jack eight, Wagon? I have all eight seasons of Home Improvement <laughs> on DVD. You know, at the time that they came out uh, releasing was... you can never get back, you know. Uh, that's Isn't fine that with me. the TV show where they started replacing their own kids with, like, different actors? Uh, no. Okay. No, that's yeah, something I think else. That, I think that one's a different one. Yeah. Oh. You're way off, man. You gotta watch. You gotta go back Ooh, to retro. You gotta go back to retro. Hey, come on. You know what time does that come on in the morning on CBS sit, at like three thirty a.m.? Go to sitcomsonline.com, oh, and you will find all types of sitcoms on DVD. Well, you better go back and watch that <laughs> Short Circuit one, man. I have it on DVD. <laughs> Sur- short Circuit One and Two. I have it already. Wasn't there a sitcom about that too? There probably was, but I don't. You know. I know Glennie remembers that one where that little chick or that small girl. Wonder, yeah. yeah, Small yeah, Wonder. Yeah, that's yeah, what yeah, it was. Okay. All right, sure. Yeah. Yeah, like, hey, get back was, to the countdown. There was also a sitcom uh, based on Uncle Buck, but nobody cares yeah, about that. That was Kevin Meany. Yeah, last. the last two episodes. Then. <laughs> yeah, anyway, Kevin okay. I still like WKRP. Come on, now. that's a great show. Uh, number three here number on the three. list. Number three. Jingle all the way. <laughs> now, is that the one with Arnold Schwarzenegger? Yes, that's and, the one. And, and the uh, comedic stylings of Sinbad. <laughs> and 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 uh, you know you can't forget about uh, who's that other guy? Sinbad's playing my holiday show in the basement of my folks' house. Oh wow! <laughs> <laughs> Does that include a dinner? <laughs> no. It was, bring your own lunch. <laughs> What you doing? Hey, hey! You look confused. <laughs> yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is my nephew that I had mentioned about six months ago, who was born. Just turned six no, months. No, no. Hey, six months, six months, and like what? Almost a week? Mm-hmm. Ah, yeah. <sighs> what you doing? Hey. Yeah. Oh, I know that. 
Hey. Isaac. He's a little camera shy. <laughs> hey. 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 <laughs> yes. It's Isaac. And me. His uncle. <laughs> Probably got him on camera. Right? Is it your first Christmas? Hmm? Is it your first Christmas? Oh, what's that? What's that? Oh. Is it your first Christmas there, Isaac? I bet you it is. Yeah, you get to see Santa Claus, or you already did see Santa Claus, did ya? Did ya? Yeah. <laughs> he, uh, he's a good boy. He's a good boy. Yeah. Oh, I won't. I won't. I know. I'm watching him. Hey, Isaac. Hey. 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 <laughs> Alrighty. Say bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Boop. 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 <laughs> oh, you little cutie. Oh, yeah. Like I said, one day I'd show the world to him. Well, here you go. Or show the world to you. Or introduce the world to my nephew. And here you go. <laughs> oh, okay. Alright. <laughs> there you go. I have to get this on camera. Grandma feeding her grandson. Isaac. <laughs> You a good rice? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that look good? Mm. Is that now dumb? Somebody's not right here. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, yeah, let him finish, sir. There you go. <laughs> All hyper and whatever. Oh. A lot of babies do that. You, you didn't do that. I never did that. Yes, you did. No, I kicked him now. Oh, oh yeah, every baby does that. <laughs> they get excited about food. <sighs> okay. <laughs> wow. Hey, oh, uh, hold on. There you go. I'm probably just smearing it on its face and more than just cleaning it, but. Yeah. Yeah. There he is. <laughs> so, make you happy you can feed your own grandson? Yes. <laughs> Makes me happy. What are you feeding him? Rice cereal. Rice cereal, huh? Crazy. Yum, yum, yum. Num num num. <laughs> Get a little jabby suit onesie on. Richard? <laughs> That's funny. Oh. <laughs> oh, no mess. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. There you go. Oh. There you go. Something like that. You're all for racy. <laughs> I think it's Yeah. Giant, go lay down, please. Yeah, Giant, go lay down. I like peas. Huh? This Tyrell. Oh, it's Christmas. Yeah, who's this little monkey? Does he look like a monkey? That guy. And Jasper's probably asleep in that guy. Look, it's Tyrell. 
the wrestler. <laughs> Careful now. You'll be on the internet. You'll be on YouTube. You know? I want that. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Who's this? Who's this? Hmm? This little monkey. Oh, no figure, no figure. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. Why are you? Uh, what's this? What? You give me the finger, aren't you? Yeah, here you are. Yeah, what's this right here? Oh dang! Yeah, huh, yeah. <laughs> wow! Can't, can't, can't get a, can't get a finger. <laughs> there he is. Oh, look, the cutie pie. Oh, another old nephew. Well, you never saw before when I, we went on YouTube, huh? Oh, so now you're just in better quality. <laughs> hey, be nice. I like the camera Yeah? I don't think you can. <laughs> anyway. Huh? Go. Go? Go, go. You can't see me. I can see you. Everybody can see you. <laughs> hey, what's up, everybody? Merry Christmas here. <laughs> well, it's Christmas time here at the Slauson House, and uh, yeah, we're uh, we're getting some uh, we get some uh, pop here at the office where my dad works. But, uh, then after that, we're just gonna go head over to uh, my brother's place because we're having Christmas this year at my brother's house, and. Uh, it should be pretty exciting, I think. Uh, yes, that was my little nephew, uh, Isaac, who I uh, promised a long time ago. I remember about six months ago when I did the Daily Summer Vlogs that I was going to, uh, you know, one day anyway, when I got a good chance to uh, uh, introduce the world to him. Or introduce you guys to, to, him, to him. Anyway, or him to you guys. Or, He's a cute little guy. He looked just like my brother, you know. Just like my brother when he was little and all that. And I think it's going to have a lot of my brother's looks and stuff, you know. I pretty much believe. But Yeah, the town of Greenbush, you know, it's got itself pretty decorated for the holidays. This is the welcome park right here. Yeah, we're all we're all in the festive mood here this year. And, uh, I think this year's holiday will be, I'm thinking, a lot better than, than last year's. Not mistake last year's you know last year's was okay but it could have been a little bit better I mean there's some things last year that could have been avoided you know I think but, uh, but yeah so and we're getting a new uh well in this town in here we're getting a new pharmacy you can see right there and, uh, it's gonna put the old pharmacy out of business I hope I mean you be with better employees better people you know, people that actually care about other people rather than, you know, rather than care about this money and all that stuff. You know? So, yeah. So, anywho, I'm gonna go see my dad at the office. This is the liquor store that he works at. Uh, it was closed down for a little while due to some shady biz, shady business ownership here at one time, but now it's uh, back in store and everything's going good. So. We're going to see what's going on here, and then uh, we'll be back for more Frankie Slauson Show special Christmas edition of Frankie Slauson Show here on YouTube.com. I'm probably you guys eating. <laughs> Jackie. <laughs> That T-Rex? T-Rex there. <laughs> oh, ready for Christmas. <laughs> oh, <coughs> what's up? <laughs> what's up, Daddy? Oh, see, she guys not afraid of the camera. Hi, are you your pizza? You guys get to get gifts from Santa? Actually, gifts from us first before Santa. <laughs> 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 
no kisses. Grandpa, Grandpa. Oh, I have you tape myself. Yeah, video tape myself. Ugly Sean! What is this? What's this thing? That's your Wii remote. Sean! Do your face! No, it's fine, I got it. No, I got it. I don't want you to drop it. Oh. Yeah, I'm wearing the shirt. Oh, let's see what's going on outside. My brother's little man cave. <laughs> That's a camera. This priest is recording us and he's gonna whack off to it later. Yeah. <laughs> well, this is the shit you're gonna play on goddamn YouTube, huh? Oh, you heard about that, huh? <laughs> have you seen it or have you seen it by the videos that I've posted or whatever? No. I do, I do pretty. I you suppose. You have a fucking computer. Yeah, get yourself a computer with all the money you invest in alcohol. Yeah. Want I don't. Wanna drink? Wanna drink a beer, you pussy? <laughs> I don't drink art. You know hey, that. Hey, Mikey, you should dress up like an elf. And this guy's never school. had <laughs> pussy before. Oh, I have. <laughs> What's it smell like, then? Candy. <laughs> <laughs> it's candy. Yeah. You like tuna? Yeah, almost we'll like tuna. <laughs> <laughs> Tastes like chicken. Keep on licking. <laughs> smells like trout. Get the fuck out. <laughs> you know, we're watching Dan, Dan Cook on the TV. <laughs> <laughs> Watch it. Is this our old table or whatnot? No. We made that the other day. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, it's our old table from... No, it ain't. That, that. was in the, uh, your living room or no, whatever. you're tripping. Hey, where were you on the night of all those... <laughs> when all those little kids went missing? <laughs> oh, was at your house, Art. Uh, yeah. With the camera. With the camera. <laughs> taking pictures of our little kids. <laughs> Hey, I love your kids, you know. Yeah, that's that's what I'm afraid of. <laughs> God, hey. You ain't gonna put this one on YouTube. Oh, I don't know, you know. You don't put anything on YouTube. Even even people give the finger and all that. You know? If you got a picture of mom naked, you put it on. No, they that's don't, just nasty. They don't allow nudity out there. So. Oh, I bet you wish they did. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. I don't know. Here, you want nudity? I'll show you nudity. Oh, I have seen nudity. I don't, I don't, I know what nakedness looks like. I know I'm not seeing myself in the shower, but yeah. <laughs> yeah he, he looks at himself in the mirror when he takes the shower. I was like, oh, I'm a sexy man. <laughs> there you go, Frankie. Oh, nudity, eh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ho, ho, ho. Christmas nudity, huh? Fuck you, oh, man. Holy shit. So, is this Lance's gift that he gave you? Both of you guys got Heinekens or whatever, or what's that? That's Mickey's. Mickey? That's a big Heineken. I don't know, it almost looks like the Heineken logo or whatever, kind of. Kind of does. <laughs> what the fuck, man? Why are you freaking... You're a freak, why do you record yourself? Because I've done that already. Nobody wants to look at you. <laughs> Let me see that thing for a second. Let me see a Frankie. I don't trust you. <laughs> I'm going to turn it around and look at you. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're going to talk about Frankie. Well, let's see Frankie on there. If they've we're seen, on there, you're on there. They've it. seen plenty well, of let me see. Let, let's, let's look at this ugly fucker. <laughs> 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 look at him for a minute. <laughs> Ladies, you got to come get Frankie. Uh, Jesus Christ. Email him. This guy's a him. sex machine. <laughs> email his ass. Yeah, they know, everybody knows my Facebook email or Hotmail <laughs> You I want somebody that. that goes straight for the ass, give me a call. <laughs> <laughs>
Right, you know, this is supposed to be a Christmas video. <laughs> Fuck, Merry Christmas. Jingle bells, jingle bells, Frankie smells. <laughs> anyway. So what, you guys gonna be Santa Claus? Or are you gonna be Santa Claus, or what? What are you talking about? Santa Claus is real, dude. Yeah, but aren't you gonna be Santa Claus for the kids or whatever? Or? So why would I be Santa Claus when Santa Claus is coming? <laughs> Come in, Tintel. No, be... for real, man. You don't believe in Santa? Oh, I believe in Santa, but I thought Jen told me that you were going to uh, dress up as... Are you telling us. me there's no such thing as Santa? Yeah, I <laughs> thought you were Santa. <laughs> oh, my God! <laughs> hey, I'm Santa! <laughs> 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 That's funny. Fucking Frank. How, Sean likes Santa Claus. How, how plow? <laughs> this guy used to go to school and say his name was Marty McFly. Marty well, that's, McFly. Yeah, this is Back to the Future. future. <laughs> yep. He even wrote on his test and everything. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they had to know him. <laughs> <laughs> so on a scale of 1 to 10, how plowed are you? 2. 2? Oh. So you can drive and you're, you're okay. I don't, how about you are? I know you're pretty plowed. You know, because... five. Dr- drinking from last night... You need night. to drink a half a 40 yet and you want us to be drunk? Well, no, I... I <laughs> Christ, you should have been here last night when we were taking I was here vodka. last night. You had UV blue or whatever that stuff was. Oh, yeah, I was you're... trying to get your ass to drink. Yeah, you remember that. Okay, I, you know, I guess your memory does... You do I have a memory. My memory was all right until like a couple hours later. Uh, <laughs> and then Arthur woke me up by the toilet. Oh, really? <laughs> well, you're puking your guts out. Yeah, I heard okay, too. Man. Must have been you and Justin that were puking or whatever. No, right? Justin was just gone. We had to carry him to his truck. You carried him to his truck and you left him there? <laughs> no, his girlfriend brought him home. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then he crawled up the stairs. He crawled through his house up his stairs <laughs> and through his bed. He said, I was like, oh, hell no. And he took a big shit. <laughs> and he was like, Merry Christmas. It's officially Christmas. <laughs> no, not yet. Oh. It ain't oh. midnight. Oh, no, it's almost 10. Oh, that's pretty close, huh, Frankie? <laughs> Two hours. Frankie's getting excited. <laughs> well, you, I'll I'll... you just can't wait back to... Frankie, you want to be an elf? An elf. Seriously, like, we'll get you a green t-shirt, some shorts, and fucking, I'll go fucking get you some long-ass stockings and go up to your knees. <laughs> I don't know about the curly shoes, I can't help you there. I suppose we could freaking, like... Well, he kind of looks like an elf just looking at him. Uh, yeah. You just take, take your hat up and put it above your ears. <laughs> No, seriously, so your ears kind of fold out like this. Yeah, I have Spock ears. I do. I have elf ears, though. See, elf ears. Yeah, no, put your hat <laughs> behind it and then fucking turn and look at yourself. And then I want these people to see... Oh, you, you want to see elf. people look like an elf, huh? Yeah. See? They look pretty cute. <laughs> pretty fucking cute, Frankie. <laughs> Give a little Christmas cheer, you know. <laughs> <laughs> or, or a Christmas fear, one of the <laughs> Christmas fear. Yeah. <laughs> While you're doing... God, if he's an elf, I'm running and taking my kids with me. <laughs> well, you... Fucking child molesting elf. <laughs> <laughs> God. So, how, were you guys up late last night, though? Or drinking all night, or what? I don't know. What time do we go to bed? <laughs> so well, it's over. Went to bed. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. 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 And we had a pretty good Christmas over at the house so far. Yeah, yours free. Where the fuck are my cookies, Frankie? Cookies? <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking Christmas. People are supposed to give cookies away. Aren't you yeah. sound this little bitch? Oh, well, mom made cookies. Uh, oh, fucking go give me some cookies, Frankie. But I think they're all. I think we all ate them last night. Yeah. I'll ride with you, hey man. We'll videotape this all the way over. Yeah. <laughs> We'll go get uh, some cookies. Drive, so. Your mom is a trip. <laughs> well, yeah, she makes good cookies. I want to go cookies. bake cookies with your mom and listen to Christmas music. She oh, okay. wants to take her on a trip. Hey, that's your mom too, you know? Yeah. Yeah. He doesn't want to take her on a trip. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> yeah, no. well, you guys are you guys are thinking sick thoughts on Christmas for crying out loud, huh? Here's Frankie. Look at you. You're sitting here with a fucking video camera and recording us. Recording you getting drunk and high here. Yeah. We don't do that shit. No? God. No. Yeah, they look like a couple potheads to me. I don't know. Like Retired. <laughs> Retired pot. <laughs> you smoke pot fucker? <laughs> no. <laughs> or no, you a pothead fucker? <laughs> it, it's just like meet the parents or whatever. You, you a pothead fucker? Yeah, you look like one. You got a double dose of fucker in here. What drugs have you taken? What kind of fucking I drugs? I think he's on fucking shrooms or you know. <laughs> No. He's, he's still fucking tripping. 
tripping. Oh, this guy swim. Can you swim? Right? Oh, I swim pretty good. I think. Hey, I can swim better than you. <laughs> you're you're tall, but you. You want to have you... a race this summer? <laughs> have you ever been out to Hayes Lake? Yeah, many you times. Want to swim across the lake and back? That's kind of an adventure. Can I bring the camera with? <laughs> if it's waterproof. I don't know if it is. Well, I want to get a little yeah. test it up. <laughs> beer proof. <laughs> See if it's beer it's proof. Beer proof. It's water. Yeah, alcohol proof. Well, any any Christmas greetings you want to say to anybody? Merry fucking Christmas. Oh, okay. Happy fucking New Year. <laughs> oh, that's not nice. Jingle on my balls all the way. <laughs> <laughs> Stick that candy cane far in between them legs. Hey, Art, you think I can? You think I can use your fridge? Cause at the house we don't have a fridge that big. We need a small one. We need a big one like that. Yeah, if you can get it to work. Well, does it work? It does. If you're outside. Oh, just a knee slapper there. Okay. That's what the snow is for. Can't you see the plugs sitting on the floor? Oh no, I. That it was working. I'll freeze my turkey outside. I'm not gonna freeze it. Freezer. <laughs> <laughs> well, if it thaws, but it's like 30 below outside. Matt, what do you think they did when they didn't have no goddamn fridge? They went and made their own fridge. Yeah, yeah. out of snow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> snow and icicles. Buried right? it in the ground inside a dark shed. <laughs> kind of like you did to all them bodies the last time you killed everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember that. I don't know what you're talking about. You don't remember that? No. Oh. Frankie. Were you with me then? No. <laughs> you told me all about it. Oh, really? There was one night you were tripping off of shrooms. You told me everything, <laughs> man. That was some crazy shit. Y YouTubers don't do drugs. <laughs> 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 YouTubers. What yeah. the fuck are YouTubers? People like me that, that film people, people and put it on like, YouTube. You ever been to YouPorn? Little kids, go to YouPorn. It's got the best porn or pornography videos you can <laughs> find. I tell you, you've been there before, huh? No, my ex-wife is on there. Ex-wife? <laughs> Just what were you married. You want to see her, too? Her name is Autumn Sky. Autumn Sky. Check it out. She's hot. She as hot as the sky, or what? I don't know. That wasn't, that wasn't that funny. But anyway. <laughs> I'm not even drunk. <laughs> you wrecked yet. it, man. Oh. I was having a good time. Well, I didn't erect it, but anyway. <laughs> I keep going. I'm serious. I'm serious. I'm serious. I'm whole fucking you don't give me an erection. Huh? You got an erection right now, Frankie? Hello. He's going to rewind this and listen to it later and find out what my ex-wife's name was and he's going to look uh, yeah. it up on the internet. Look it up on Facebook. <laughs> She's on uh, Pier 18. She's on uh, Reality Kings. <laughs> okay. Check it out. Sean likes to smoke crack. <laughs> Fuck fat women. Oh, really? I thought that was you, Art. No, that's you. Uh -huh. I'm sure now I'll feel sorry for you. Well, you should be happy. I'm, I'm a little jealous of you. You got you got a girlfriend here. Somebody that loves I know you. How to do it, Frankie, you somebody. need to find a short woman and have a kid with her so you can have a short little kid that looks like you and we can actually use it as an elf. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, are you a desperate that desperate to an elf? You're just going to make up elf. stories? <laughs> Arthur can be your elf. He got, you know, he's, he's, he can be elf. he can be a Will Ferrell in that movie Elf. He can just be oh. a buddy. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, buddy? Yeah. yeah. Buddy, get the presents. Uh, this is the North Pole. Uh, <laughs> we ain't dropping presents off. We're picking them up, buddy. <laughs> Come bad on, buddy. Santa. <laughs> bad Santa. <laughs> How about badder Santa? You're fucking yeah. walking around with a sack full of beer. <laughs> Jeez. And some moonshine. Moonshine. <laughs> we got or some moonshine. We can get or shit some Mickey face. or whatever. Mickeys. You like my moonshine? That's syrup. No, right? actually, it's not. It looks like you syrup. Smell it? it? Looks like a big syrup bottle. Smell it, man. Looks like the stuff that we sell at the store. Oh, okay. It's not syrup. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. It's moonshine inside of a syrup bottle. Ah. That that's why I was confused, you know. I just thought you guys like drinking syrup while you're drinking Mickey's or whatever. Ooh, cherry fucking moonshine right there. That shit'll sure fuck you right up. Or you moonshining or whatever, you were like uh, hauling bootlegging, boot yeah. <laughs> like your Dukes of Hazard, or smoke, smoking the bandit truck. or something, <laughs> smoking the bandit, bootlegging, or whatever. Mile an hour down the fucking highway, playing Jerry Reed or whatever, <laughs> <Shit>. <laughs> eastbound and down. 
This guy's probably a little FBI agent acting like a retard over here. <laughs> That's why. Oh yeah. God, he's a moon tire. Yeah. Get his ass. We got guns and shit. This, this is the police. LPD. Yeah. This is the LAPD. We oh. got guns and shit. Yeah. <laughs> and shit. Move your piece of shit vehicle. This is the police. We got guns and shit. We got guns and shit. <laughs> well, anyway, Merry Christmas, Art. Merry fucking Christmas. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas Jack. Thanks for editing my is video. Is Christmas actually that merry? It could be. That's a question nobody knows. Happy holidays. I mean, if you were Jewish, you'd be celebrating Hanukkah. Yeah, yeah but really, everybody <laughs> gets so excited about Christmas. What the fuck's so exciting? For moments like these. <laughs> <laughs> because they, like for real you get presents but really you're an adult why would you want a present just give me some fucking money yeah. so you can get right? beer <laughs> no well, so you can buy booze because <laughs> beer is different than booze right? <laughs> stronger stronger huh huh nope. sounds exciting well, Christmas really ain't that merry well maybe not over here but inside <laughs> it is <laughs> The feeling what you get inside. inside. Well, the feeling. Bunch of screaming kids. Yeah. Sober people that should be drunk. Argue with somebody <laughs> one day. Constantly, you know. Yeah. That's why I don't go to family shit, really. Hmm. Well, we we had a good somebody one this year. Somebody starts arguing, fucking, and everything goes all sour. And yeah. Just like now. <laughs> fucking Frankie, come out here and record us so we can whack off later. I don't appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, pre brother, sick I appreciate you there, Art. Yeah. You sick fuck. <laughs> well, Merry Christmas. <laughs> you said that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I saw all the animals are sleeping. Watching the 24 hours of the Christmas story here on TBS and... A lot of stuff we wanted to see. Oh. Oh, anyway. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this little Christmas video. Uh, it's Christmas. Uh, officially Christmas now. Christmas Day. It's 12.35 in the morning. And, uh, hey, you guys want to see what my, what my old room looks like? Since I know there's a lot of people that were wondering, you know, what the whole room looks like since uh, I moved out and everything. Well, here it is. The old room. Curtains are still up and all that, but because I'm keeping those over here. I told mom and dad I didn't need to bring my Mr. Bean curtains over here. Just because I figure, well, you know, they can just keep them over here. And, you know, I hope that they'll be able to paint uh, this, uh, these walls a different color now that all my stuff's out of here. The only thing that's left... Pretty much are some videos over here that I probably won't even take. There's some more clothes and whatnot. And then what else is always left over here? Pretty much the rest of my DVDs and CDs are still left here. And then the posters. But I think these posters, like, well, I'll bring these home too. Because uh, it'd be nice to get these up in my room. It'll look pretty nice on the Freddy one over there. But, uh, yeah, pretty much. There's all the rest of the DVDs that I have left to bring to pack up and whatnot. We're going to pack those up tomorrow before uh, I leave and go back to the Fibber. But, uh, that was been a pretty good Christmas. I mean, you know, I, mean, I think I'll, the last few Christmases that we've had, I think this one pretty, uh, will fit up in the category of most memorable holidays or most memorable Christmases, anyway, in my life, anyway. Uh... There's a, there was a few Christmases this year, in this last decade that weren't so good. Like two years ago when I was kind of depressed because I lost my job at the casino. And uh, hence, you know, I lost, you know, my full time. I lost, you know, my hours and lost pretty much everything, including, like, my apartment and all that stuff. And it just kind of was a downhill spiral, you know, even though I got started at Hugo's at that time. But even then, it was it was a struggle to get to where I'm at now. Because uh, now it's a little different story. Now I'm getting better hours. Now I'm actually getting treated here a little bit better anyway, I think, more than I was two years ago. So, you know, it, it, it's all it's all going pretty good now. Uh, so it's great just to be on my own and everything and 
to come back here to Greenbush to see my family uh, and to be in the old room. You know, it's kind of nice, but it's also nice just to know that I'm, I don't live here no more. You know, that's probably the best thing of all that I can say, uh, roughly. So anyway, there'll be more great videos coming up here in the future. More longer videos, just like this one, or two-parters or whatever. Uh, and yes, every time we have a radio show, I, w I do plan on bringing the camera because... Each each day that we're on the radio is different, and I want to get you give you guys kind of a sneak peek of what's going on, kind of while we're you know on the air and everything. So, so for, so for you know, so you, you know, get a chance to see some of the stuff that you wouldn't normally see, well, that you would only be able to hear if you listen to the radio show or the YouTube stream that I put up every time. But uh, anyway, so. I just want to let you guys, you know, just have, tell you guys to have a, you know, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. And I wish nothing but the best of luck to all you guys, especially to the YouTubers that I know uh, who uh, really want to be successful in the year 2011. I do too. I think uh, whether I'm a partner or whatever, uh, the fact of being able to do longer videos gets me a chance, gives me a chance to be more creative. And, and now I have some bigger plans, bigger ideas for... 2011 so hope you guys stick around for the ride and uh merry christmas happy new year for everybody here at the frankie slauson show and uh everyone here at frankie slauson productions so until next year this is my last video for the year uh that i can say until next year until 2011 we'll see you for another great frankie slauson show video